Did you know that the first humans to inhabit North America might have been here way before we previously thought? That's right. Some 130,000 years ago, ancient humans might have already been calling this place home. The discovery of the Cheruti Mastodon site in California has turned the world of archaeology on its head, with evidence suggesting that our early ancestors may have been breaking open mastodon bones with stone tools long before the Clovis people arrived. So put on your prehistoric thinking caps and let's explore this fascinating piece of history. The idea that ancient humans may have inhabited North America prior to the arrival of the Clovis people, who are widely considered the first human inhabitants of the continent around 13,000 years ago, has been a topic of debate among archaeologists for decades. In recent years, however, evidence has emerged that suggests humans were living in North America long before the Clovis culture. One of the most significant pieces of evidence is the discovery of a site known as the Cheruti Mastodon site, located in San Diego County, California. In 1992, Construction workers discovered large mastodon bones at the site, along with what appeared to be stone tools and broken pieces of mastodon bone. Subsequent analysis of the site suggested that the mastodon bones had been intentionally broken open using stone tools, and that the bone fragments found at the site showed signs of having been struck by these tools. Radiocarbon dating of the bones and associated materials indicated that the site was approximately 130,000 years old. The stone tools found at the Cheruti Mastodon site appeared to be similar to those associated with early human populations in other parts of the world, such as Africa and Asia. The tools are made of various types of stone, including quartz and basalt, and show signs of having been used to break open bones. The tools found at the site include cobblestones that have been modified to have sharp edges and flakes that were created through a process known as flint napping. Some of the flakes show signs of use wear, indicating that they were used to strike and manipulate bone material. The discovery of the Cheruti Mastodon site and interpretation of this evidence is controversial, however, and has been debated among archaeologists. Some argued that the bone fragments may have been broken open by natural causes, such as trampling by other animals or exposure to water and rocks, rather than by ancient humans using stone tools. Others point out that the site is unique in the extensive amount of fractured mastodon bone fragments that show clear signs of having been intentionally broken open, suggesting human involvement. Nevertheless, the site remains an important piece of evidence in the ongoing debate over the early human settlement of North America. If the interpretation of the evidence at the Trudy Mastodon site is correct, it would suggest that humans were living in North America more than 100,000 years earlier than previously believed. This would challenge the widely held idea that the Clovis people were the first humans to inhabit the continent and would require a significant revision of our understanding of the history of human migration and settlement in North America. The Cheruti Mastodon site has been studied and investigated by a number of archaeologists, paleontologists, and other scientists from various institutions around the world. Richard Cheruti was a paleontologist at the San Diego Natural History Museum who played a key role in the discovery and excavation of the Cheruti Mastodon site. Over the course of several years, Cheruti and his team excavated the site and discovered a large number of fragmented mastodon bones that showed signs of having been intentionally modified by stone tools. Cheruti's work on the site was instrumental in bringing attention to the potential for earlier human habitation in North America, and his name has become synonymous with the discovery. The site was later named after him, the Cheruti Mastodon Site. Cheruti passed away in 2017, but his legacy lives on in the ongoing investigations and research surrounding the Cheruti Mastodon Site and its implications for our understanding of human history. Stephen Holen and Thomas Demare 
are also two researchers who have played a significant role in the investigation of the Chiruti Mastodon site. In 2017, Holden and Demer published a paper in the prestigious scientific journal Nature, which presented their analysis of the site's evidence and argued that it provided strong support for the theory that ancient humans had been present in North America much earlier than previously believed. The paper argued that the marks on the mastodon bones found at the site were consistent with those made by stone tools, and that the distribution of the bone fragments indicated that they had been intentionally broken open to extract the marrow inside. The researchers also noted that the stone tools found at the site showed signs of having been deliberately flaked, which suggested they had been made by humans rather than by natural processes. Their findings were controversial and sparked a lively debate within the scientific community, with some researchers disputing their interpretation of the evidence. However, Holen and Demer's work on the Trudy Mastodon site has brought renewed attention to the question of when and how humans first migrated to the Americas, and has spurred new research and investigations into this important topic. The bones and artifacts discovered at the Chiruti Mastodon site are currently housed at various institutions around the United States where they are being studied and analyzed by scientists. The bulk of the collection is held at the San Diego Natural History Museum, where Richard Chiruti worked as a paleontologist and where the initial excavation of the site took place. The museum's collection includes a number of mastodon bones that show signs of having been intentionally modified by humans, as well as the stone tools and other artifacts that were recovered from the site. Other institutions that hold specimens from the Trudy Mastodon site include the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History, the University of Michigan Museum of Paleontology, and the University of California, San Diego. The bones and artifacts from the site are considered to be a valuable resource for scientific research into the early history of human settlement in the Americas, and they continue to be studied and analyzed by researchers, seeking to uncover more about this important period of human history. Paleontologists and archaeologists study the bones to determine their age and condition, and to look for signs of intentional modification by humans. This can include examining the bones under a microscope to look for marks left by stone tools or conducting chemical analyses to determine whether the bones were heated or exposed to other forms of human activity. Researchers also study the bones to learn more about the ancient environment in which they lived. This can involve analyzing the isotopic composition of the bones to determine the types of food the mastodons were eating or looking at growth patterns of the bones to determine how long the animals lived and how they matured. In addition to the bones, researchers also study the stone tools and other artifacts recovered from the site. This can include using advanced imaging techniques to examine the tools in detail or conducting experimental archaeology to replicate the techniques used to create them. As new discoveries are made and new techniques are developed, it is likely that our understanding of the ancient humans who inhabited North America will continue to evolve and expand. The story of the Chiruti Mastodon site is a reminder of the importance of scientific discovery and the ongoing quest to learn more about our past and the role it plays in shaping our understanding of the present and the future. What do you think about this discovery? Leave your theories and opinions on the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Subscribe.